week, we're going to take a look at things from Culture Code. Things is a getting things done application that helps you get whatever's in your mind into your Mac so that you don't have to constantly think about it and you can get things done. The Wikipedia has an excellent article on getting things done. I've put that link on the screen so you can have a look at it at a later date. Things itself can be downloaded as a trial from Cultured Code's website. I'm going to download it now. I've downloaded Things and installed it into my applications. If you want to know more about installing applications on OS X, look out for a future screencast that will cover this issue. But for now, let's launch Things. Things has a very simple and intuitive interface. You have the inbox where you collect all your thoughts for processing later and fields for focusing. So we can focus on today, next actions, scheduled actions, items that you may want to do someday and project. The best way of starting in GTD is to get all the things that you need to get done out of your head into your GTD application. Now you do that in things by the inbox. You can also use the quick entry dialog box. Now by default the shortcuts are as follows. Control space to bring up an empty box or control alt or option and space to show the box and auto fill any text in the clipboard. I'll show an example of that now. So I press control space and it's brought up a quick view field so we'll put a new to do. As you can see I've created the task to get some milk and it's gone into my inbox. Here I have some text in text edit, ah, get some pizza. Now let's say I wanted to enter that into things using the quick entry box. Okay, so I'm going to copy it so it's in the clipboard and now I press Control Alt or Option Space. It brings up a new to do with get some frozen pizza as a note. So I'm going to get order pizza. That's now appeared in the inbox. I'm just going to go and populate a few more things in the inbox. Okay. So I've entered a few tasks uh, in my inbox. Now in real life, you'd have a lot more tasks than this, but for this demo, I've just put a few in. Now today on focus is what you're going to do today. So let's say I need to order some milk today. If I'm out of milk, can't have coffee. So you can drag and drop that. I'm also going to order some pizza today. So they're both in there. I've processed them into today. I'm going to do them today. If you look at the things icon on the dock, it's telling me I've got two things to do because I've got two things in my today icon. Now I'm going to move buy some memory for the Mac into the next action. Now here we have visit mom next Tuesday. Well, it's not Tuesday. So we're going to set a due date on this one. There you go. That is now due on Tuesday. Stick it in the next actions box. Now get car serviced and repair house are more complicated than one action. So we're going to make those projects. That's the inbox processed. Everything now is in the area where it needs to be. So now you can actually action those actions or projects. We'll look at projects more in the next part of this screencast, but for the moment, let's deal with the main focus areas. So here's today. Now let's say I've actually ordered pizza and got milk. Simply ticking them marks them as completed. 
and overnight the relogged is completed but you can also click down there and that automatically logs them you can see what you've completed by clicking on the log book in the bottom left there's no actions left to do today so let's look at the next actions now visit mum next tuesday can't happen until tuesday now it's got a due date for that day but i don't want to see it till tuesday so we'll drag it to the schedule folder and we'll say i want to see it on the 15th that will now appear in my today box tomorrow which is the 15th which is tuesday Again, let's say I'm not ready to buy some to buy some memory for my iMac because I haven't been paid. So we'll move that into scheduled. Mark payday. And in eleven days time, move it to today. Someday is where you want to put things that you might want to do someday, but can't commit to in there. So you're gonna do it a new to do there we go I've added a new to do now this doesn't show up in my today field so it's not going to bother me unless I want to look at it that's it for this part of the screencast stay tuned for the next part